you're out in public, uh, but while behind the wheel, you may feel like you have some privacy, right? But the ACLU is saying, nope, that's not the case. Yes, license plate trackers are capturing images of license plates all across the country and even here in Arizona. Personal data, the ACLU says, that's being stored for years. Jill Gallus is live near Indian School in Third Street with more on what people are saying about this. Jill, good morning. Good morning, Yetta and Scott. That is exactly right. At a busy intersection like this, any one of these cars could be tracked at any time. Tiburon, California, a prosperous community on San Francisco Bay, is one of a growing number of cities where police take a picture of every car that drives into town. And these are the cameras up here. Right. These cameras are located on the pole up here in the middle of the divider. There's two for the incoming lanes and two for the outgoing lanes. More controversy than you expected over this? Way more controversy. Some people said they would never come here again, frankly, if we were going to capture the license plate. They thought that was very unwelcoming. Some cities store the license plate records for as long as five years. Chris Connolly of the ACLU says technology is outpacing privacy laws. Connolly worries so much data can be collected and stored, it provides a roadmap to the lives of ordinary citizens. Even simply information about when a person comes and goes from a town and which direction they're going does say something about them. When we go to church, when we go to the bar, when we go to the golf course. Some say this crime-fighting tool is violating your rights. KMBC 9's David Hall joins us now to explain this issue. David? Good evening. Automatic license plate readers are devices that police can use to track your information, and you may not even be aware of it. With these automatic license plate readers mounted on a police cruiser, 1,800 tags a minute can be checked against a crime hotlist. But a local American Civil Liberties Union is concerned about your privacy. It isn't collecting information just on bad guys. It's collecting information on everybody. ACLU Legal Director Doug Bonney says requests have been sent to Kansas City, Missouri Police, Wichita, Kansas Police, and the Kansas Highway Patrol demanding information. How these uh, ALPRs are being used and how the data that's collected when they go down the street, take photos of all of the license plates they go by, and then put that into a database. We want to know how that's being collected, how it's being used. Bonnie says other ACLU affiliates filed Federal Freedom of Information Act requests with the Departments of Justice, Homeland Security, and Transportation. It's out there and available potentially to anybody, not just the police. And we tried to speak to the KCMO Police Department, but they were unavailable for an interview earlier today. But they did mention that they did receive a letter from the ACLU, and they may have a response tomorrow. The use of license plate scanning cameras bring about mixed feelings. Whenever we pass by a vehicle, it will beep to me. That, that means that it's, it's uh, been read. The issue is it reads and saves data for every plate. And a national study by the ACLU has discovered that there is very little regulation on what happens to all of that information. Nationwide, the issue that we're facing is that law enforcement has been quietly collecting incredibly detailed and personal information about the travel patterns of perfectly law-abiding Americans. The Sheriff's Department and IMPD both turn their data over to the Indianapolis Department of Homeland Security, where there has been no clear policy. Director Gary Kuhn says data was previously stored for anywhere from three to six months, depending on how quickly the server filled up. Our recommendations in the report suggest that departments keep the information for days or weeks instead of months or years. 